Hello and welcome to another Excel Olympics YouTube video. My name is Gashpa Kamashek, I'm an Excel MVP from Slovenia. And in this video, I'll be reminiscing of a session I did on the main stage of the Global Excel Summit about a year ago. And the session was VLOOKUP versus Power Query Joints. And basically, the session in the end came down to, that's not even a contest, the Power Query Joints are far superior. Things have changed since then, in a sense that now we have XLOOKUP. And I think we all agree XLOOKUP versus VLOOKUP, again, no contest. So XLOOKUP far superior. But I would still like to point out that there are things that Power Query joins do that XLOOKUP just doesn't, right? So this will sort of be XLOOKUP versus Power Query joins. What I would really like to emphasize here is kind of the free things you can do. Let's say we're going to focus on free things that Power Query joins are still far better at, okay? So the demo as I want to show it is, I want to focus on John over here, right? And John, if I just took the name, is actually present all over this table, right? But this is John from USA. So he's, this is not the right John, this is the right John, right? So if I wanted to do this, if I wanted to do a lookup, I'll do the X lookup, but a lookup of John from USA to this table, what could I get? Well, what would be correct to get? What I would say is, well, these three, right? Well, maybe yes, maybe no, but I think these three are the ones that I would need. How would I go about doing that? Well, whether xlookup actually has a parameter, so if I go xlookup, there's a parameter in there that says what's the search mode. So search first to last or search last to first. That's a brilliant thing. That's far better than vlookup where you only got the first every time. Whereas here you can now, with Johns from USA, either get this one or this one. Well, but that's not true because this one you could never get. So you could get this one or this one. But if they were free, they were the same. There was no way you could get the middle one. At least with using XLOOKUP. Just XLOOKUP. So how would I get all three of this? There's no way. You can only get, well, you could get two with first time using first to last and then using last to first. So you would get those two. No way to get the middle one and there's no exact match over here. And then we also have joined by two columns, right? So I'm looking for John and USA. So I'm doing X lookup by two columns. Can I do that? Well, basically no. What you need to do is somehow join those two. Now either in a formula or just do an extra column where you would say join this and this, and then you could do the X lookup, but there's no way you can get all of these. And then what if I wanted to return both of these? Well, again, basically what I would need is to write two X lookups, right? So in a sense, a very, very poor scenario, but now here's what I can do. I can take this into the Power Query Editor. And because I want both of them, I'm actually just gonna duplicate this one. I'm gonna call it demo right. I'm gonna remove this, I'm gonna remove this, and I'm gonna select this, and that is it. So that's my demo right. So now I have demo left. That's the original table, and now I wanna bring in these two to the original table right, that two pieces of data. And what I'm gonna do is this. I'm gonna say, okay, so basically we merge the queries. I don't wanna be using join, so we're gonna merge. I'm gonna merge as new, wouldn't have to, but I will. And here it is. So 
Demo left, that's the first one, and demo right. This is the first column, this is the second column. That's the first brilliant thing. You can do it by multiple columns. And over here, this is the first column, this is the second column. Already a brilliant thing, right? But if I only did this, I would get two Johns. So let me just show you that. So if I would go OK, right? And if you look at John right now, so it's ID one, John USA, there's only one of those. But as soon as I crack this table open with the amount and date, because that's what I need, I would now have two Johns from USA. And these are the pieces of data that I would get, right? And if I would have showed you demo right three, that's these two, right? That's these two. So already, I'm doing it by two columns, I'm returning two columns, and I'm even here, I'm getting two values, right? So all three of those right off the bat, but then I can just take it a step further, which will include an extra tidying up, but no problem. So I'll go back to the original step where I did the merge, and I'll just add something, I'll say, use fuzzy matching why because well i need this john to match up with john p but all capital letters and that's kind of what fuzzy matching does so it ignores case and it matches by combining text parts now i'm gonna go way down here so i'm gonna go to 0 0.33 i think let's just test that out so what would i get I don't even know because I didn't include the columns that would tell me. So I'm going to go customer and country. Okay, so I got John, right? So I got all three Johns, but basically I even got more Johns than I wanted to because I also got Johns from Canada. Where are they? Right here. But I can salvage that because I can add a column, custom column, and I just basically go if location equals country then return a one else return a zero okay and because those need to match up i'm now only going to search for my ones do okay and now i see that john with the id of one gets matched up three times to John John and John P. Now I don't need this one. I don't need this one. I'll remove them because remember, I only wanted to the amount and the date, right? And also this one I can also remove. And there it is. So three brilliant things by multiple columns, return multiple things where I can even go and do approximate match, right? Just great. And then even search by multiple columns. So search by multiple columns, return multiple columns, and the approximate match. All of those mean that, you know, no function is still where the Power Query joins are. And I didn't even go into that the Power Query joins. There's actually a lots of different types of joins. And I'll be doing a video specifically on that because there are joins in here, in particularly the left and the right anti-join, which only return what's not present, but are just mind blowing. And let me just point to another thing I could do here. You see what I did is I expanded the table, but I could also say aggregate. Expanding the table means if there are three matches, it's gonna return all three of them. Aggregating, that means that for that match, if there are three matches, I could say, well, sum up the amount. Give me the average of date, which sort of doesn't make sense, but it could, right? That's just brilliant. That's like having uh, some if, average if built into this, right? And that's because people don't actually expect to get multiple rows back. Okay, so Power Query, 
joint types still far superior even to the much improved xlookup function. Okay, let me just close and load this. Now I'm not going to load it initially because it will load all three of those. So I'm only going to create a connection and then I'm going to go here and I'm going to say, well, now this, I want you to load this to a table on a new worksheet like this. And now keep in mind, John, three times, right? John USA, three times. Now I'm going to go back and I'm going to create another one. One of these John's Canada, I'm just going to turn to John USA, but this one will be John P dot. And I'm pretty sure I haven't tested it, but I'm pretty sure that when I do a refresh over here, there are now four Johns. And that is pure brilliance, people. Okay, so basically my goal here was just to show you that Power Query joints are still a powerhouse and there's nothing that even gets close to them. Uh, and I'm not even talking about they could match up a million things, right? So brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. Okay, thank you for watching. Leave your comments below if you're feeling the brilliance and I'll see you on the next one.